Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about high altitude training and uh, ascents aided with the Wim Hof method. And uh, I myself tried this out here in Ecuador on Ruku Pichincha. And at the summit of Ruku Pichincha, the oxygen is only 85% of what's available on sea level. And I started my climb at 3000 meters, which I was well acclimatized for since I've been living in the Quito city for a few weeks. And I climbed about 1600 meters then. And because of this rapid ascent, I am in the risk of getting AMS, acute mountain sickness. But the risk for me of getting AMS is low because I will go down very fast. So whole this uh, ascent took me five hours up and down. So that greatly reduces my risk of getting AMS. And further on, I used Wim Hof method breathing on the way up and on the summit of the mountains, as you can see here in the video. I got really inspired by this when I heard about that Wim Hof method took a group of climbers up Kilimanjaro and they climbed the Kimbo mountain in four days. And in average, they ascended over 1000 meters. And if you ascend over 500 meters, you increase the risk for AMS drastically. And what was really nice with this project was that they were also doing a study. So during the ascent, they filled in this uh, safety checklist where they filled in the oxygen saturation, pulse, body temperature, and also how they perceive that they are feeling. And what is really remarkable about these results is that none of the climbers reported severe AMS, which in normal cases uh, occur when climbers are doing so fast ascent. Only four of the 22 climbers had moderate AMS, which is really good result. And what they did was they were, while they were climbing, they were stopping and doing Wim Hof method. And here they talk about the hyperventilation. So they are increasing their oxygen saturation. They do this to reduce the chance of hypoxia, which means that there is a deficiency of oxygen in the tissue. And also two years ago, I tried this method when I were in Peru climbing and it helped me a lot reducing headache from uh, mild AMS and it also increased my speed of climbing. And my next step is to buy an oximeter so I can measure my progress up the mountain. So I know when I have to stop and hyperventilate. And I can also see if it's having any effect on my body. So my next step is to get an oximeter and I'm super psyched. So this is a short video and I'm gonna make more videos about this. Uh, until then, I recommend you to check out this paper and I have a link in the description. So stay strong guys, see you later.